Hey, it's Karen Jean, and I am back. I have, <laughs> we're still working on our recipe journal here, of course. Oh, it looks kind of dark over here. Looks kind of dark over here for me. Um, hold on. Uh, I've cleaned up, I've gone through my stuff and I cleaned it up a little bit. And whoops, not quite. <laughs> Get that out of my way. So, uh, I'm going to put the journal aside for just a moment. These are some doilies that I dyed when I was dyeing paper. So I'm putting them aside too. We could just use those for decorating. So I went through the project tray and I got cleaned it up, got rid of some stuff, realizing that, no, this is trash. We don't need this. We don't need this. But this is this here. This here is what we're going to do right now. Um, I want to turn this into a journaling card. It's true, we have all these journaling cards that I made last time, right? Um, and we can use these. Well, this one's weird because that's upside down and stuff like that. So um, we could use these ooh, recipe cards. But let's make other journaling cards as well. We have our guest checks here that we did last time, just staining them with some of those coffee rings. Um, I'm just going to put it aside, put those aside. I want to turn this into a journaling card, like I said. Um, and I want to turn this into a journaling card, right? This here is an automatic pocket for the book. So we're going to place that in the book somewhere. This I also need to trim down and we're going to make this into a pocket. This is going to go uh, as a pocket and a flip up. So we need to place, so these are, these are ready made to go in the journal. I'm putting them aside. This we have to cut down. This we need to turn into journaling cards. This is also a ready made pocket, right? And this is also going to be a journaling card. So we're going to, we're going to cut this down and we're going to make journaling cards. That's what we're doing. So hi. <laughs> so hi, hi, hi. Here we go. Here we go. Now, yes, because this is actually an invitation. So I'm cutting it down right above where the fold is. And uh, I am cutting it down right beneath, right on top of the celebrate. And that is just shy of two and a half inches, which is the size I like my pockets. Um... So, so yeah, so I'm going to stick this aside. That's on the pile where we have pockets. This, I'm not going to trim these down until, I might trim this one down because it has that ridge there, until after we get them um, backed onto something, right? Uh, yeah, we need to get these... Uh, back down to something and we need a backing for this simply because of all that uh otherwise this looks crooked hold on looks crooked it is crooked right there there whoops don't do that let's see if we can trim it down right there okay that's better so this really just needs, um, well, it's kind of bumpy there. I was going to say just a plain piece of paper, but actually it really doesn't need a backing. We just need to cover that with something. So we need to cover this with something, something narrow. That's fine. These definitely need a backing. Um, let's see. Reaching over into the project bucket. Not the project bucket, the scrap bucket. I'm looking at the scrap bucket to see if I have any scraps that would fit the bill. Here we go. Perfect. I'm going to put this aside for the moment. So, uh, how wide is this? Jewish. Um, that'll go there. That'll go. That'll go there and that'll go there. Okay, that's fine. Um, Actually, I'm going to trim this down just a little bit first. Why waste? Why waste? So we have that there. 
there. Now we have a straight edge and it needs to be cut down. It needs to be cut down here. I am going to trim this down. I said I wasn't, but I am. Oh, uh, there. Simply because I don't want to waste. Also, this is kind of tall. We don't want it this tall. We're going to trim it down to here. We're going to trim it down there. But we're also going to trim it down a little bit on this side because there's, there's something there. Okay, there. That should be a good size journaling card. Here it is. Um, go away. A good size journaling card. There we go. That's, that's much better there. A lot less space, a lot less space. So, so now it is, uh, three and a quarter inches. Of course it is. Um, how big is this? Let me trim this down as well, and then I will round the corners after I get it backed onto something. So I'm just trimming it down to just above there. That way, once I get it backed onto something, I could trim it down just a little bit more if necessary, right, right. And I will obviously round, chop those corners after it's backed. Okay, and this is four inches. Um, I was, I'm thinking glue stick, but as we know, I really don't have that much luck with glue stick. So let's just do some glue stick on it and then also do some wet glue and see, oh, good Lord, see what we can see, right? Just there. And All right. Oh. Let's get this. There. There. Okay, so that hopefully should be fine. And we'll do the same with this one. someplace safe and get this all around the edges uh, as it is stuck to my finger there we go get the glue wiped up all right, now we can cut it down. Um, cover that up. Now we can cut it down once more. Okie dokie. So I hope everybody is well. I don't know what the dog's barking about now. I don't know where my brother is. I just heard him come in. But I don't know if he's in or not. Okay, and there. 
And no, I'm not leaving any border on this. Um, there. Oh, geez. All right, I'm going to have to go downstairs and see what her issue is. Let's see how long I can ignore her. Uh, right there. And uh, right there. And get that over right there. Right there. that larger piece back in this scrap bucket and the smaller pieces will go in the trash and now let's chomp some corners uh corner i'm gonna do a half an inch Ooh, just chopped off part of it that's okay i should have done a quarter of an inch but that's okay there now for this one we're also going to do half an inch corner chomp And there. Um, let's dig out our ah. That got a bit heavy, didn't it? <laughs> It's okay. On Rocky Road. Let's do it. So here we have these two journaling cards. Um, there. Okay. Boom. Uh, so we have those two journaling cards. Now this, what are we going to cover this with? We can cover this with um, I have scrap. Hold on. Oh, I don't think I need those stickers. Put them out anyway. Uh, let me put this on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to be using this or not. But here I have I have some scrap paper. I'll take that out too to decorate. Mm. Let's see what size it is. I don't want that. Let's use. Uh, nope. Um. Nope. Small scraps to bigger scraps. This is directional that way uh can we can we put it up here and then we just trim it down just a little bit all right so let's do um how much half an inch half an inch half an inch and then Doggo's not very happy with me at the moment so I might have to okay half an inch I might have to go deal with her uh, and we're going to do this double sided adhesive tape oh is this half an inch? This is not half an inch. It's three quarters of an inch. Dang it. Uh, well, that's okay. Half an inch. Half an inch. I'll line it up on that side. The tape is half an inch, but this thing I cut down to three quarters of an inch. Go figure. I will just line it up on the that edge and uh, just trim it down. Is what I will do. Mm. So I'll cut it there. 
and oof. Let's see if I can do it with the scissors instead of the paper trimmer because it's pretty narrow. It's pretty narrow. Okay, and probably should have just put it down and then trimmed it off afterwards. But now we're doing this, um, which is, I think, what was what I was planning on doing to begin with. And then, you know, uh, I forget these things. So... And I'm putting it up here, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. And then I'm going to trim off the bottom of this. And then I'm going to go see what the problem is with the dog. After I round corners, of course. <laughs> Um, do I want to round corners on this one? No, I won't round corners on this one. Uh, well, I'll round the bottom corners. And the top, I will do something else with the top. Um, I'll do something else with the top. I will. Let's do this. Let's do right there. And Bella. And do right here. And then I'm going to go deal with the dog. There. Mm. That doesn't look right at all. That does not look right at all. What did I do? Uh, it doesn't look right at all. Did that there. So then it needed to be flipped this way. No, I did. It just looks, I'm going to trim it down just a little bit here. There. Okay, I'll be back. I have to go deal with the dog. Okay, I'm back, and it's actually been about four or five hours. <laughs> I went down to take care of the dog. I had lunch. It was beautiful outside. I sat outside to have my lunch. It was a beautiful thing. So I wanted to make journal. I made these three journaling cards, right? And I think we did this together. I don't. I don't remember four or five hours ago. Um, I do know that I just put that down there. Um, just a little while ago. So I have this hold on i have this here piece of fabric i realize this stuff is going the wrong way but i don't think it matters and if we do well hold on let's i don't know how far apart these things are let's take a look and see do that maybe if we tie it all right I'm going to do that and oh maybe I might be too short okay let's do let's just do these and see see if I could tie these oh you know, this is wide. Me and my fingers. Oh, for heaven's sakes, come on. Where's the other one? There? There. Okay. Like, like, like and so. Like so. We have that one there. Mm. I don't know if I can get it to come up. If I do it the other way, hold on, maybe if I do it the other way, instead of tying it like that. Oh. Oh, do the, and I just ironed this for heaven's sakes. Oh, if you do it this way, right? And pull it through. Let's work smarter, not harder, right? Smarter, not harder. Let's see if I can 
get that to pull through. I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. It's not working for me, though. Come on. I realize this is a little bit wider than what I would normally be using here. Come on. There we go. Uh, and, all right. That'll work. There's one. Okay. These here, um, just leaving them as they are for the time being. And what do we have? So here are, so we, the three journaling cards. Okay, we did that. I'm going to put this aside. Now we have these things. I want to put these things in. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Um, journaling cards. Let's see if we could put a little sticker or something there. One of these stickers. Oh, that's a nice big sticker. Put that there. Put it on the back. Um, sticker. Let's see. Not the color, but the size. Maybe if we do one of here we go. We have black, dark brown, blue. Let's um let's see this right here. And let's let's see this one. Ugh. And there. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh. Yep. Yep, yep. There we go. Little little label. I don't know, just to give it a little something. And then maybe if we had a little something for the back of it. Hold on a second. Where is that? Where is that? This Rhodes Almanac, whatever it is. Let's see if we can get a little... These pictures might be, oh, my eyes are starting to go wonky. Uh, I don't even know what that is. The old Latin name for millet. Uh, that looks like, I don't know, some kind of wheat grain or something. Grasses, annual grasses. Um, I don't necessarily want to cover that up, right? Right. There is, where's my other one? Oh. There is, you know, my bird book, but I'm not looking for my bird book. I'm looking for, oh, for heaven's sakes. What is that? I'm looking for these. I think I'm looking for these books. Okay wild flowers. These are, those are very big pictures. I don't want big pictures. I just want something small. Something small like that. That, a colorful, a colorful little picture. Blood vein, I don't even, <laughs> wild flowers. Uh, okay. If you say so. Um, Coop. Cuckoo pint? Isn't that interesting? Hemp petal. Um, we could do a black and white. Sea kale. What's over here? One side is color and one side is black and white. So... Mm, let's do this. because no oh, 
Dag nabbit. I should have known better. I should have known better. So, okay, let me get this moved over to the side. Things are starting to crowd in on me again. After I just cleaned up uh, like that. It's not a sugar plant. I have no idea what kind of plant it is, but... We'll just put this down. Like that. And... I want to put those... I want to put those in. I want to put those pockets in. So... I'm going to put this here. And... Okay. Yeah, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put this down here. Okay. If I can get it off. I just cut my nails today, so here we go. So there's always that issue right there. Okay. And I'm thinking about like Tim Holtz's tiny field notes, but tiny field notes have absolutely nothing to do with the recipe journal unless I take out the mushrooms in the tiny field notes. Putting these aside with all our others, uh, recipe cards, putting those aside. Okay, so this these are pockets. I might cut that down a little bit because this is wider. This is a little over three inches. This one is two and a half inches. This one is about two and a half inches. This one's bigger, but that's okay. And then this is going to be a pocket with a flip-up journaling space. So let's put these in. Okay. Um, let's put these in. And I also have this uh, ribbon, right? It has the blue background. It's nice. I haven't been able to use this in anything yet, so I think it would be nice to use it in this book. We could do, you know, down some... Um, pages edging. Now, I when I was putting this in to make sure that it was going to stay because I was having problems because this is with the scrapbook.com adhesive on this gusseted pocket. I just paper clipped it down to make sure that um, where can I put these paper clips? There. Um, to make sure that it would catch. So there's that gusseted pocket. Okay, so we have a gusseted pocket there. Uh, this, oh, hello, move over. This I think I'll put in the second middle signature here because the first and the third signature have these heavy things there in the signature centers. So let's go here to... Um, Let's go here, Let's see what we can do. We have that there. Uh, right, that's another thing I want to do is, let me get out the tracing paper while I'm thinking about it. As I reach over here, tracing paper, where's the tracing paper? There it is. I will um, make a couple of pockets there with the tracing paper on the sewing machine. Uh, we could put this here. Right, and I do have I do have sunflower stickers. You can put down. I have to pull out the sunflower stickers because if we're going to use this in sunflower stickers, then we're going to need to put sunflower stickers in more than one spot in the journal. Is what I'm saying. Um, there. Okay, I'm going to. That's this is where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, where'd the glue go? And we're going to glue down this side, and this side, and this side. And we're going to put it there. And let's uh, Okay, the glue is 
easing out a little bit, which is good. That makes, tells me I've got it, got it in the right spot. So there's that. Okay, and where were, where are we? Here we go. Oh, sugar shoes. It did not catch yet. I wonder if it has something to do with this um, cardstock that I'm gluing it down to. Because this is the same issue I had with that gusseted pocket that I just took the paper clips off of. I wonder. Okay, let me put paper clips. Oh, sweet heaven. What do I do with those paper clips? I am going to just paper clip this right here and right there. Um, also, I want to make altered paper, tabbed altered paper clips for this journal. So that's another thing. Another thing for the list. Okay, we have this pocket. I'm going to trim down the bottom just a little bit. Um, let's see, where would two and a half inches take me? Two and a half inches would take me right there. Okay. Two and a half inches. Meyer lemon. It's a delicious tea. Um, okay. Now what is my glue? Now, yes, these are just traditional pockets, right? And we'll figure out, you know, other more interesting pockets, maybe with the um, tracing paper. Okay. That's right there. It's not... Okay, so there's that one. Let's flip over here somewhere. Uh, what do we have? We have cupcakes and butter. Um, well, creamery, creamery right here. Uh, I'm not going to notch it. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll take, it'll stick. I could use the, um, like some double-sided adhesive tape on this, but I think wet glue has a stronger, better hold, right? Okay, and now cupcakes, cupcakes, cupcakes. Do we have something that talks about dessert? Dessert, 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 cheddar cheese pie. Oh, let me take, a, oh, here's desserts. We could put it right there with the, with the desserts. Um, cheddar cheese pie. Slices of white bread, butter, half a pound of sharp cheddar cheese, two eggs, one cup milk, butter, a pie pan, Butter enough slices of white bread, crust removed to line the pan's bottom and sides, buttered side down, cutting the bread to fit and overlapping here and there if necessary. Slice the cheese into small pieces and lay evenly over the bread in the pan. Beat the eggs in a small bowl, add the milk and pour over the cheese. Huh, I'll have to give that a try. I don't know. Um, actually, this pocket needs to be trimmed down just a little bit. How big is this? Yeah, five and a quarter. No, we need to trim it down. I'm going to trim it down just there. Um, it's just a little bit too wide there. And this one, I think we can notch. We should be able to notch this one a little bit. And yeah. oh, you know what we can do? Before I put this in the journal, 
How about if we take some, not that one, this one, the Nouveau Crystal glaze and just highlight some of that stuff. We could also, I could also use a glitter pen. Let me see my glitter pen. Glitter pen, glitter pen. This is Jelly Roll. Is it clear? This is a clear glitter pen. Hold on. Instead of doing some glossy accents on it, let's try this. Let's see if we can... Do that. And you know what else we can do? Oh, hold on. I think I'm having idea after idea right now. First, I was going to do some glossy accents. Then I was going to do this. Let's see if I can pull that up a little bit. Now I'm thinking um, embossing it. I have my... Let me get my... Find it. My glue pen. Is this a glue pen? This is a glue pen. Um, let's just hit it with some anti-static stuffs. Okay, glue pen. So, I don't know. I'm going to put my head down here because I need to see. Getting it on the, the raspberry here. Right? And the raspberry here. And making sure I have glue there. Now I have my clear. We do want, what's this one? Holographic. We don't want holographic. We want, we don't want white. We want clear. Right? We want clear. But I would like clear with a little bit of a... It's white. With a little bit of a sparkle to it. This is... This is white. I want clear with a bit of a sparkle to it. Oh. Alright, I guess we'll just have to do... Like a little bit of a glitter to it. Okay, so it's on the two raspberries. Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to dump it in while they're still hot and bothered. Get that top one. Come on, get the top one. Let's see if we can layer it up a little bit more. And go for a third time. Brush, 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 brush. Okay. Okay. So there are those. Now we're going to do the same to the lime and to the blue flowers. So let's see. Again, sorry. The vision is horrendous. I need to make sure I'm in here. And these blue flowers. Um, and you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm pretty sure that this is ugh, wet enough, but I'm going to take my little glue reinker and just daub it on this tip just to make sure <laughs> that there's glue um okay and here we go again sorry if you can't see if my head's in the way and make 
make sure that I have it all nice and glued. Okay. And let's All right, here we go again. There and there. Now, hot, hot, hot. Let's be quick about it. off where it doesn't belong again sorry if my head's in the way okay we're gonna and then we're gonna hit it a third time too needed a third time that got pretty smooth and the reason why I layer up why I layer it up like that is to give it a really nice smooth glossy finish I'm just getting all the excess brushed away because I don't want the whole card to be all nice and shiny and embossed again sorry about my head <sighs> okay and i did not do that over here so you really can't tell but you, there's a little bit of embossing powder embossing powder bits that are there okay and here we go third and final time As I'm burning my thumb. Ugh. And. I don't know if you can tell there, but it is all nice and smooth and shiny. And that doesn't always happen on the, on the first go around. You just need to be quick about um you know when when i was hitting it with the heat gun and it melted i immediately put more embossing powder on it while it was hot so that the embossing powder would stay now um i follow natasha foot on youtube and she's a card maker and what she sometimes does is without using the glue She'll put embossing powder down on top of it and then just heat it from underneath because obviously if it's if you haven't used the glue on top and if you haven't used the glue and you heat it on top, it's just going to go all over the place. By heating it underneath, it keeps it in place and it just melts it down. So anyway, there we go. There's my, my, now where was I putting this? I was putting this by the desserts, apple cake desserts. That's where I was putting it. I was going to put it right here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And, um, no, I could have gusseted it when I was trimming it down. Instead of trimming it down, I could have, well, look at this. I'm making a mess. I could have added, instead of trimming it down, I could have made small gussets. But I didn't. Um, do I not have another? I do not think I have another. Going through a lot of paper towels. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Like so. There. And let me do that 
right there. So it kind of gives the same effect as using like a glossy accents, uh, except it just dries a lot quicker and um, you have a little bit more control with this as opposed to glossy accents or any of those liquid glazes uh, that might get, a, might get away from you, right? Okay, so there's that. Now, what else was I going to do? Um, I think, I think that's what I had, all I had in my head, right? That's, that's what I had in my head to do. Uh, the sunflowers. Okay, let me go get the sunflower stickers out. Where did we put the sunflower? We put it right here. Okay, here are the sunflowers. They are, these are smooth. Some of them have texture, like these have a texture to them. And yes, they're from Dollar Tree. Crafter Square Dollar Tree. So, let me get that out. Um, this and this. Let me see if I have any. That's, these have texture, texture. A lot of these have texture. Oh, they're very bumpy and they're not sunflowers anyway. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. Uh, we can take those out. Like these, look at that. That might, we might be able to put that on the cover. Um, oh, like there's a sunflower sticker. You see, uh, oh, there's some more. Those are daisy stickers. Daisy stickers are fun, but those are pretty too. Um, okay. Oh, gosh. When A.C. Moore was going out of business, I tell you. All right, I'm taking all these because they... Oh, here's another flat sunflowers. Here's another sunflower. I'm um, just... No, I wouldn't call that a sunflower. Um... There. Okay, let's see what we got. Ugh. So, I'm thinking, that, no, that's got texture on it. Well, texture's fine. I was, where's, what happened to the flat ones? Here they are, the flat ones. Uh, like, we could put this, let's see, let's see if we can get it. Uh, this, I should have thought ahead, right? There. And um, there. Okay. Now, this one, when I was saying the cover, see how the cover does not want to close? Let's see what we got. Ah. Oh, these are heavy. Um, <laughs> we could put it down here to cover up that. That's a very good idea, Karen Jean. Let's put it down here to cover that up. Why don't we? Ugh. Wow, that's very sticky. There. Um, well, isn't that fun? It's actually kind of, it's soft. It's actually a bit soft, too. That is fun. And then we have another boo-boo right there. Oh, look at that. That's using our noggin, isn't it? Oh. Sunflowers and Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay, so... Hello, my name is... Yes, your name is... Um, okay. Oh, now I just want to do all kinds of decorating. But I'm going to end this video here. 
um, I'm going to end this video here because it's, I have no idea how long I've been going on any of this. And when we come back, we're going to have fun decorating. I need to, what did I say? I pulled out the tracing paper. So I need to make some pockets uh, for, for in here. I need to make some pockets for the signature centers. And I need to figure out what kind of pockets they're going to be. If they're just going to be like regular pockets or if they're going to be built up pockets or what. Okay, so this is Karen Jean. I hope you've been having fun with me along this journey of our recipe journal here. I know I'm having fun. Uh, yeah, uh, again, I hope that imagination of yours is going crazy. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time around.